the market or in any individual stock, ETF, or any asset class, it could not go higher until it Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of uh nightly update show. Hope everybody uh, had a great weekend. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody who attended uh, Kenyon Sallow's uh, keynote. Was absolutely awesome. Um, I knew it was going to be good, okay, but uh, unless you were there and you saw it live, uh, you felt really incredible afterwards. At least I did. Uh, there was a lot of great self-reflection moments. Um, really awesome. Just really, really great. Uh, it, it just made, uh, I know a lot of people just feel absolutely great about themselves, just about the future. It has nothing to do about a motivational talk. This is going to be great. It's all about, you know, living your life with total fulfillment and, and pretty much getting the greatest uh, aspects and living your greatest life. So for all you guys who are attended, uh, who did attend, uh, I hope you had an awesome experience just like I did. Uh, it was recorded and if you, for all you guys who are coming aboard uh, in the future, it'll be in your disposal. Just an absolutely, uh, like I said, great uh, way to kind of get a vitamin B shot to your soul. Just made you uh, feel good. So thank you very much. As always, guys, again, we always uh, appreciate your support. If you haven't done so already, please like and if you haven't su uh, subscribed yet, please do so, so we can continue uh, to build to to bring you unbiased uh, content. So let's talk about this unbiased content. So we've been uh, digesting, right? And that's exactly the thing where we've been going on. We've been digesting these gains, this 10% gain that we had two weeks ago uh, in the NASDAQ 100. Really, really awesome. Uh, we had a line in the sand that put in last week. We tested that line in the sand as well. And the most important part is all of this is happening on decreased volume, which is exactly what you want to, you know, what you want to see, what you want to hear. And the most important part is what you want to see progress until the next level. And then we'll talk about that uh, in a few minutes. But the most important part is what we're taking out of it is it's very organic, right? Uh, when we had that 10% move, you could see it was just not sustainable. If you've been watching this broadcast, uh, for the last two weeks, all we've been talking about is this natural back test, right? Some good, healthy profit taking that we've been seeing uh, in a perfect world. Again, if you've been kind of watching this broadcast, you kind of know, I would like to see a retest uh, of this 50 day moving average. That would be kind of the area that the bulls can take a very, very aggressive stand and take the market higher. And this is the area that we talk about, this 277, uh, 278 level on the Qs, which is not that far away, right? So every single time you see a bet, you see kind of a run up and reclaim on the 50 day moving average, what usually tends to happen is they come re revisit it, trap and go. And if you guys remember the video uh, from a couple of weeks ago, that's kind of the whole point. This is when we had this big, big rally, uh, three day, three or four day retrace back into the 50. You can see this light blue line, trap and go. And that's kind of what we're looking for now. Just one more day, just all we're asking for is one more day of selling we can get into that 277, 278 level. Again, if you're a swing trader uh, or if you're a day trader, right? Uh, that is the area that you kind of want to make a stand. Uh, generally, you know, the, the market does respect uh, the, the first initial uh, back test uh, of a major moving average. So it should hold, right? It should hold at least that one time. That's kind of what we saw here uh, today when we had a back test and we stopped right short of last week's lows, which kind of shows you and kind of illustrates what I'm talking about. So tomorrow, if we can just get one more fade, one more fade to this 277, 278 level, I do believe the bulls uh, will step up, right? They will step up, defend those levels, and potentially we can have a reversal. Now, the green light, if that all happens, the green light has to be a previous day's highs, right? So the market Again, for all you new traders, uh, the market or in any individual stock, ETF or any asset class, it cannot go higher until it takes out the previous day's high. Okay, that's just that's just the way it goes. And a stock or an ETF or everything else cannot go lower unless it takes out the previous days or previous range lows. And these are the kind of most important points. So where we start to worry, okay, and when I say we, I guess... Uh, perma bulls. I don't want to say the word we because we trade both sides of the market, but this is where the bulls should start to worry. If we start testing 
uh, this 278, 278, 77 level and bounce and then lose it on a close, then the narrative changes. Then we have something completely different to talk about. And for us, we're just looking for that trend, the trend to continue and the trend to confirm so we can make, uh, you know, feasible decisions based on our previous night's research. And we'll get to all the individual pivots and everything uh, that happened today. But see, th these are the, definitely the areas we want to watch for tomorrow. Uh, big level, right? 280.72 is going to be the line in the sand going into tomorrow, right? And if that starts building, I think we can get that 277, 278 flush. So what I'd love to happen tomorrow is kind of get a green open or get a flat open or even slight, you know, slightly red open. Uh, take out this level, take down the shorts, whatever we're looking for for tomorrow, ride it down to this 277, 278, obviously cover everything and start going long uh, at that 277, 278 number to see if the bull holds. All right, that's the perfect world. The problem is we don't live in the perfect world. And last time I was looking for a back test, if you guys remember the previous Thursday, the whole day's move that I was planning for for Thursday uh, played out on uh, the pre-market for Thursday session. So that kind of really uh, left uh, the value to kind of zero. But here's the caveat. If we do have one of those exaggerated gap downs into support, then that you know, then the market's gonna do all the pre-market work for us. And then again, 278, 277 level, that is the area where you wanna start a position and play it against the lows of the day because that will be defending this whole bias, right? That they reclaimed uh, going all the way back to November the 10th, which was uh, the CPI data. So that's kind of what we're set up for tomorrow. So uh, in case we gap up 280.72 line in the sand for a rebound bounce, 277, 278 for back to the upside. And the most important part is if we do close below 277, then obviously we have a whole different conversation ahead of the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. Speaking of Thanksgiving, if you are just watching this broadcast just today and taking the rest of the week off, I wanna wish you and your family a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Enjoy what you have, right? Everybody wants things, everybody you know thinks they, you know, there's, the grass is always better, but live the life, love the life that you have and not the life that you want. And it's very, very important to understand that and really respect uh, all the blessings that we have uh, every single day. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about today's session. Uh, again, as you can imagine, the, the uh, week of Thanksgiving is a, a very quiet as far as activity, uh, as far as activity and violence, right? Because there's no events. There's no Fed speaking. There's no this, no the, that. So there's very li limited things that is going to jitter the market other than some random, you know, something that comes out, you know, out of anywhere, any part of the world or some sort of political debacle, right? Having said that, the market is very organic. It was trading incredibly organic today. Um, 80, I would say 90% of all our value today was to the downside. Uh, the one name that we were looking to the upside today only went up 50, 60 cents. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second and came right back down. But until they, until the market kind of sorts itself out and really starts uh, testing that 50-day moving average or retesting the 50-day moving average, it's going to continue to go, it's going to continue to play itself out to kind of drag lower, to kind of drift lower, just because we, we can't, we, we haven't seen the ability in the last two weeks to take out a previous day's high to kind of cut cord uh, with the selling cycle. So it, all that is very, very meaningful. The volume is going to die out, right? You're going to see that because Thanksgiving is the most um, popular travel holiday uh, in the calendar, a lot of people are going to be off, as you, you probably see it. A lot of ranges are probably going to be shrinking. So the value is always going to be to the downside because they continue to drift, 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 drift. And you will see that uh, on the pivots that we had today. But what's interesting is by by Wednesday, right? If, if, if the bulls don't reclaim, um, you know, at least the previous channel by Wednesday, I think we're going to, you know, we're going to uh, draw, draw out this little selling until after uh, Friday session. Friday is uh, a half day. Thursday, we are closed. And Wednesday is a full day. But I have a feeling if tomorrow gets quiet within the first hour, then Wednesday is going to be an absolute ghost town. So again, there's a time to press and there's a time to kind of scale back. Again, listen to what the market's telling. If the market is resting, you rest. If the market's giving you value, then the value you shall take, just like every other uh, professional trader. So let's talk about the tape, right? Uh, so I would say 90% of our uh, our watch list today was to uh, the downside. The only couple to the upside were Walmart. We'll get to that. Walmart, Amberella, and Microsoft. Walmart actually uh, behaved really, really well. So let's talk about it. 
They're, they continue to sell Tesla. Every single broadcast we've been, you know, that I've been recording over the last two weeks. Again, Tesla is the only stock that didn't rally. The only one of the very few stocks that didn't reclaim the 50-day moving average. And now every single level is just being taken down. Uh, it went from, you know, from that 193 initially uh, all the way down to 88, to 86, to 82. Uh, to 77, which is the macro breakdown. And today it started building pre-market lows, 175, and got all the way down into the 167s. And they're coming for some, I mean, they're not playing around. When I say they, whoever the hell they are, but they're not playing around, man. They are coming for, you know, the 165 weeklies, the 160 weeklies. We saw 150s for next month. We saw 130s for like, you know, for like February. So there's something going on. Again, I honestly, I really don't care what's going on. Uh, every day is just giving us some really good value in the trade. And every single day, uh, knock on wood, has been trading organically. So here's the pivot today. 175 held twice pre-market. If it builds below, can flush more. So here is here is the 175 pre-market here. You see it held twice. You see that? 175, 175, started building 175 and just died on a vine, went all the way down to 167. I have to assume you'll get at least one or two more days of selling before a possible dead cat bounce there. So really good move there. Uh, Amazon, 92.48, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, Amazon, again, another one. They started coming for uh, the 90 weeklies, uh, the 88 weeklies, the 88 for next uh, next week. Uh, again, took out the 92.48, went all the way down to 90 and change. Uh, some nice move there as well. Uh, NET, again, these cloud stocks continue to get hit, right? Uh, 4630, 46, if it builds below, can flush, right? NET, so here's NET, cloud name. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen snow set up and all that stuff as well. So it took out this 4630, uh, traded all the way down to 4465. Uh, Walmart, one of the very few names to the upside, uh, had a great quarter, right? Well, at least on paper. Uh, digested its earnings report, 150, 30 needs to confirm. Here is Walmart, right? Beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful flag. It got above the 150, 30 and went all the way up to 52 and change. Nice move on Walmart. Uh, NVIDIA never, never gave us a second entry. 151, 20, one, only went down like 40 cents. Never gave us a second entry, kind of held up. Amber, I wasn't watching. 76, 60, 77 needs to build. I don't even know what the hell this thing did. Uh, AMBA. Let's see here. AMBA. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't even confirm. Um, Microsoft was got. Uh, so I, I got long Microsoft. Um, I got long Microsoft. And it, it went up about, you know, 50, 60 cents. That's it. 50, 60 cents. It was actually a beautiful chart. It really, it really does, really, you know, show you. Really nice looking chart, right? You know, held three times, got rejected 43.80. So I got long, went, only went up like 50, 60 cents, and then came just crashing in. So, um, you know, I lost a cup of coffee there, break even pretty much on that. Uh, Microsoft, and I think that is it. So we had some pretty good, uh, Roblox. Roblox was really good. Roblox had a really nice trade in Roblox. Uh, it started taking down the 31 area, 31. It confirmed uh, 3060 and just dropped like a dollar and change. Really nice move on Roblox as well. So that's it. I, look, I, I think tomorrow is going to play out kind of like today, right? You're going to get some value. You're going to get some opportunity because the market right now is just, it, I, I don't think there's anybody there yet uh, to defend prices. Yeah, yeah. You know, after Thanksgiving, we'll, we'll probably paint a different picture because a lot of people are uh, traveling this week and spending some time, taking some time off, enjoying the start to the holidays. But again, going into tomorrow, guys, this is an incredibly important area here. Uh, again, it shouldn't be any shocked if it takes out the level and starts building. Uh, 280.72 was the low from three days ago. 281 was low today. So if it starts confirming, I do believe uh, we get a move down to this 278, 278 seven level but in case it gaps down to 277 278 then there's a possibility we could finally have a washout trap at the bottom of the channel and go red to green for a possible a move up so that's it guys that's it guys god bless everybody stay warm stay safe it's a robust 27 degrees here in new jersey absolutely freezing and it's dark right now at 4 30 so i'm gonna need that dosage of prozac to go higher. Guys, God bless. Have a great weekend. Have a great Thanksgiving. And with God's help, if you're trading tomorrow, we'll see each other then. Take care.